served at her ministry when I was in Tampa, Florida as the uh, youth pastor and, uh, and elevated to associate pastor when her and her husband, her ex-husband were married. Mm -hmm. I love them dearly. You know, when people start praying, they start, the imagination start going and they just really yeah. go in. Oh, God, even the angel from South yeah. America. You calling up a spirit that you ain't even ready for. Right. And if you're going to call, if you're going to call the angel, it needs to be from the heavenly host, yes. not from some geographical place. You'll get something because, yes. you know, they're angels, they're real demons and right. they're fallen angels. So right. you call them something from Africa, you leave them there. We already dealing with the fallen angels here in America. Yeah. <laughs> If I had, if I'm no longer in communication with Pastor Paula for whatever reason, for whatever that is. I don't know what that's a whole nother other thing. But if she had somebody like me in her life to be able to communicate with, I would tell her, Pastor Paula, you know, I love you, but you're going to have to make a decision because that's what happens when you get paid to pray. Yeah. yeah. I just said something deep. Yeah. I said something real deep. Yeah. Sometimes you can, there's some deals you cannot take.